Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about the 5 domesticated species of hamster that you can own. There are other species of hamster but these are only the domesticated ones you can purchase in a pet store or from a breeder. All these hamsters require the same type of care and have a estimated lifespan of one and a half to two years, sometimes longer. The first species is the Syrian, also known as the golden hamster, panda bear, or teddy bear hamster. They're one of the most popular species of hamster and the largest, ranging from 5 to 7 inches long and weighing as large as 120 grams to 200 grams. Syrians are a solitary species, so this means they can only live on their own, and if they're put with other hamsters, they'll often fight to the death or become very stressed. Syrians come in a very large variety of coat types, patterns, and colorings, and they're usually known for being a very calm and easy to handle species, but this really depends on each hamster's personality. Next is the Chinese hamster, originating from northern China and Mongolia. This species is a lot more long and thin looking, similar to a mouse, and have a slightly longer tail than the other domesticated hamster species. They range from 3 to 5 inches long and weigh usually around 30 to 45 grams. The Chinese hamster is another species that can only be housed by themselves, like the Syrian hamster. A fun fact is that some states in America, such as California and New Jersey, consider the Chinese hamster a pest, so they will require a special permit to own, breed, or sell them. Next we have the Russian Campbell's Dwarf. They usually range from 3 to 4 inches in size and weigh 30 to 50 grams. They also come in a pretty large variety of colors and patterns, and they actually are often confused with the winter white due to being very similar looking, though they often have a rounder nose and a broader snout. Russian Campbells can be housed in pairs, but it can be quite difficult, and it's not necessary to house them in pairs as they thrive just fine on their own. Next we have the winter white dwarf, also known sometimes as the Siberian hamster. Winter whites are also known to change their colors during the winter to white and back to their regular coloring come spring and summer due to the light cycles changing. They are usually ranging from 3 to 4 inches long and weighing 30 to 50 grams, like the Russian Campbell species. Because the winter white species is so similar to the Russian Campbell's dwarfs, they actually can interbreed with each other creating a hybrid hamster though it's never recommended to interbreed these species. And it's actually found that most winter whites labeled in pet stores are actually hybrids, and there are very few purebred winter whites out there today. And last but not least, we have the Roboroski, which is the smallest domesticated hamster, being only one and a half to two inches long and weighing 20 to 25 grams. They tend to be very famous for their white eyebrows above their eyes, Robos are also the fastest domesticated species of hamster, so they can be hard to tame and usually aren't recommended for beginners, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't own one if you want one. I hope this video has helped anyone looking into the different species of hamster. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Bye!